Fortnite has a horrible merch problem. And this may be bold to say, but I would say it's the worst of any IP I have ever seen. Epic Games is a billion dollar company with arguably one of the strongest possible and it's possible for a reason, IPs out there. In this video, I'm gonna dissect the entire history of failed Fortnite merch and really dive into why it failed. And towards the end of the video, I'm gonna tell Epic Games the secret that they need to fix all of these problems and make them another billion dollars. So Epic Games, listen up. Okay, to start off, let's lay the ground of the absolute beginnings of Fortnite merch. It's chapter one. You wake up every day and you're fiending to play Fortnite. You wanna hop on and get some massive victory royales with the boys. You remember those times right many of you love the game and i still love the game i also tend to love spending my money on incredibly stupid stuff like all this however fortnite has never seemed to hook me on any of their merch yeah i had a llama plushie or a t-shirt that said fortnite in big letters and maybe like a figure or two but most of it i bought on clearance or just at a thrift store now let's look at exactly why that is and here is some of fortnite's earliest merch fortnite came swinging out the game by partnering with one of the most legendary action figure toy makers mcfarland america's number one comic book thanks to you so i started this company to make the toys that you asked for spawn violator i hear the competition's flying around they could be any place they're cool awesome tremor overkill medieval spawn the and they come with comics nice toys kids nice try guys from Todd Toys, we're out to plaster the competition. Okay, now don't get me wrong, some of the McFarlane stuff is cool. Like, I bought the McFarlane Peely figure, and I kind of loved it. However, I feel like they jumped the gun kind of on how they made these figures, and it took me forever to find the McFarlane Tomato Head figure. Now, let me say here, I think the McFarlane line was some of the best Fortnite merch that we have ever gotten. However, it already had some pretty bad issues. The original packaging for the McFarlane figures was bad. It was super big, it was super bulky, it was not stylish at all, and it was just ugh, not it. But they fixed it a lot with the updated versions of the boxes. The other thing is that the base for these figures is so bland looking, it looks extraordinarily cheap, and I just do not like it. But something I will never understand with all of this Fortnite merch is why did you add all of these God forsaken guns and accessories and nonsense? It makes all of these figures feel cluttered and clunky and like they're made for kids and just lowers the quality. And I guess now let's just talk about all these other lines. Yeah, I was talking a little bit bad about the McFarlane line already, but it truly just goes so downhill from here. Okay, now here's a quick breakdown on all the other garbage that they've released they made fortnite monopoly it didn't play like monopoly at all and the rules were just stupid they had fortnite jenga didn't play like jenga at all and the rules were just stupid they had these little fortnite figures that came with like a stamp on them these are just dumb stupid and bad and they shouldn't have been made and they had fortnite domes and these genuinely might be the worst fortnite merch all i can think of when i look at these is that they all just came pre-jarred so you could just let one loose on all of your favorite fortnite skins these are so so bad they never should have been made they had a hot drop figure which was a pretty cool figure but then way too many accessories the llama loop pinata oh my gosh don't get me started these are everything that fortnite did wrong with their merch on the action figure side of these wrapped up into one package the packaging itself was pretty cool but it is filled with horrible quality doo-doo 95 percent of what you get is just guns and accessories and they still tried to do that dumb building mechanic next is the fortnite solo mode packs that they made a bunch of different figures Honestly, these deserve a little bit more time for me talking about them, but I'm just going to quickly say the quality on these was bad. They took some of your favorite skins and just made them look like trash. I believe this is when Jazzwares first got the rights to making figures, and for some reason, they just made like pretty much garbage. They also made these with a supply crate that just came with more accessories and horrible quality. Then they had the squad mode packs, which was again, just bad quality tons of accessories these were like really expensive when they came out too and the box was massive with tiny figures inside and i think they just made the box bit to make it feel like it fit the price but it was bad they also had this turbo builder set they really thought we were gonna use this building mechanic bro they also had the fortnite vending machine which is just more accessories they had the fortnite victory series which is honestly just figures made for little babies but are kind of better than most of the stuff we've covered they had the fortnite battle royale collection keychain 
<laughs> They're just more accessories. Then they released some ornament sets and these were actually pretty good. Not to mention the Hallmark ones and I actually really like the Hallmark ones. Then they had the Fortnite one by one builder set, the loot pack, the prefab expedition outpost and the shopping cart action bundle pack. These are all just accessory filled garbage. They want you to do the building thing. The building thing doesn't even work. It's horrible quality. All of the figures look like molten trash. I hate these. Okay, that's enough. As you can see, I have some pent up anger on this topic. Now let's move on to the few merch lines that actually did something right. And then I can tell you the secret that Epic Games needs to make a billion more dollars. First, we have the Fortnite Battle Royale collection. These wanted to be Imaginex so bad and they just failed at doing that. They came with little accessories that would easily get lost. They tried to do the same building mechanic and the quality just wasn't quite there. However, I do think these ones had some personality. If they had just fully gone into the Imaginex idea and done a few tweaks to the figures, I really do think these could have been wildly popular. Now the market for these toys needs to be very little kids, so they can't have these tiny accessories or little base plates that kids are gonna swallow. Little Timmy is gonna go to the emergency room for the fifth time this week and get his stomach pumped out again. These ones were truly ashamed to not have done better. I think if they just marketed them a little better and had gone for that younger demographic, they could have done quite well. And next is the plush, and this is truly one of Fortnite's most underutilized assets in their merch department, in my opinion. Like, they truly are almost flopping on all fronts. They just make another llama plush and just say, okay, we don't have to do anything else, I guess. And let me tell you a secret. Fortnite released a kit plushie. Maybe you've heard about it, but it was nothing special per se, and it originally was a around $10 when it came out. This plush is now being sold for $140 if it ever comes up for sale on eBay. Fortnite has so many characters that thousands of people would buy if they just made cute little plushies of it. I mean, if the kit plush is selling for 14 times the original price it came out of, you know they just made too few. Also, the quality of the plush was nothing special, so if they just upped the quality on a lot of their plushies and focused on more beloved characters like Kit, then I think they would see so much success with these. But I'm getting ahead of myself and giving away the answers too soon. Then we had the Fortnite Legendary series. This was another like Jazzwares one, I'm pretty sure. And the quality was just not there for these. Like they had too many accessories and they just didn't look great. I think if you're going to try to make something that people love and want to buy and it's based on their favorite skins in game, they truly do have to look at least decent. Most of these just look like they got their faces melted off. Okay, now on to the three best merch lines that Fortnite has ever made. The first one is Nerf. This was a given with Fortnite. It fits perfectly with the game and it just feels like it was a match made in heaven. <laughs> like the look and feel of these just work so well. However, I do actually think that this was more or less a flop. They did the scar good and they did the tack good, but I think a lot of the other guns they just fell on their face for. Like I've looked through a lot of these designs and truly the designs are just whack. They don't really feel like they fit Fortnite at all. And I do know that there is a lot of regulations on guns for kids to make them safe, but I can't help but feel like if they really just spent more time designing these that they would have performed a lot better. Cause the concept is there, but the designs just, I don't know, they just don't feel like Fortnite guns. And I think that's a shame. Now the second best is Funko. Now hold up because I am a Funko hater. I can't stand those big headed, bug eyed, stupid, ugly hoes. But I think it's another thing that just really works perfectly with Fortnite. It's so sad that they stopped making them because I feel like with the skins we have nowadays, so many of them would work so good as Funkos. But like back in the day, I don't know why they were even making some of these. Like who, who wants a Zoe Funko Pop? Like, are we being serious right now? Now that brings us to the last but best Fortnite merch that has ever been released. Well, that is technically not released yet. Lego. Oh my gosh, I am praying that they keep this up. This battle bus set is so good. The minifigures make me wanna die because I love them so much. The Durburger set is super good and it's only like $15, which I feel like is really cheap for Lego. Healy Bone is an odd decision that actually genuinely makes me worried. But the llama is like perfect and I see this one selling very good. 
Obviously, my favorite is the battle bus. And I really do hope maybe somehow we get more minifigures. Maybe in blind bags. That would be so awesome. But the Peely Bone does genuinely make me worried for the future of Fortnite sets. It just feels a little bit cluttered with the random grenade launcher and the pickaxe. And like, why Peely Bone and not just normal Peely? And I feel like if they just did normal Peely, it would have sold so much better. Which gets me to the point of the video where I feel like I can break down exactly why Fortnite merch has been failing and help them fix it. Make people care. Sounds too simple, right? But at this stage of the game, Fortnite needs to realize that they can't just print out Fortnite in big letters on a t-shirt or a bottle or a blanket. Like it's just not gonna bring the big bucks. Fortnite has passed its time in the spotlight and now really needs to dig in deep into what makes people care. Now I don't wanna glaze too hard here, but Donald Mustard was a master at this. Through the story, through design elements, through skins, through comics, through teasers, he made us care. And Fortnite rarely has capitalized on that. Why do we not have more merch of Meowsles or The Seven or Midas or the awesome villains or the zombies or so much other stuff? I could come up with like more than 50 things that Fortnite just needs more merch on. And no, not just lazy, stupid merch, but merch that wows. If you need examples of that, just go to the Nintendo store or go to the Pokemon Center website and just scroll for a bit. And I bet you're gonna wanna buy something if you like either of those. Fortnite needs to invest more in their stories, more in their characters, more in the things that make people care. Once people care, you can make them pay. So Fortnite, please stop making merch of things that people just don't care about. Please. Like for example, they've been hyping up hope for all of this chapter and now I genuinely would love like a beanie of hers that she wears or like a well-detailed figure of her. Or they could even try experimenting with other things. Like on her beanie is that stupid little cat and I would love a plushie of that. But if they put more effort into making us care about her, then I would be willing to purchase something of her. And they just need to develop more characters that way. There are so many Fortnite skins and characters that I could see being just like the best merch ever there are a couple skins in fortnite that just have very crazy fan bases and you could make merch for them so you just have to see why people care and you just have to make them care so fortnite what i'm telling you is please just invest in your stories and characters and more make people care also if you care about me you can support me on patreon or use code jojo josiah to support me as well peace thank you to my patreons for supporting the channel and special thanks to paragon for that extra crazy support